Hello, I'm Matteo, the Chief Mobile Opinionist here at Tech Travel Geeks. And this is the Tech Travel Geeks guide on how to expand your Amazon Fire Max 11 tablet using a micro SD card. In this case, uh, to do that, you'll need a micro SD card. In this case, I'm going to be using an Amazon Basics micro SD card. These are cards that I've used in the past, have served me well, not only on Amazon Fire tablets, but on other devices as well. So I'll be using that with the Amazon Fire Max 11. You'll also need a SIM ejector tool. The Amazon Fire Max 11 comes with one, but you may also have one that is uh, usable with your, uh, with your mobile phone or any other device that needs a SIM ejector tool. So let's start off. As usual, uh, the first thing you should do is subscribe to the Tech Travel Geeks here on YouTube. No, I'm just joking, you don't. Make sure you have your micro SD card prepared. In this case, I'm going to open the packaging. This is a two pack. I'll link in the description to where you can purchase this two pack of Amazon Basics micro SD cards. Have your memory card ready because you'll need that to put that in the tablet. So we've got the memory card ready. We've got the SIM ejector tool. Now, when you're looking at the tablet with the smile, Amazon smile facing you and the camera in the top left-hand corner of uh, your field of vision, it means that the tray will be on the side with all your buttons. So you can see we've got the power button uh, fingerprint scanner here. You've got the volume rocker. You've got the micro, uh, the, not the micro in this case, USB type C for charging. And next to it, you'll see that there's this panel that looks slightly different. It's not exactly flush with the body of the tablet with a hole in it. This is your micro SD slot. So what I usually do is have it high up. We'll let the camera focus here. There we go. Um, so we've got it high up. It's facing there. I'm going to take my SIM ejector tool and pop that in and then push in gently and the SIM tray will pop up. And all you have to do here is pop your fingernail underneath the lip to get a bit of a clip on it. Maybe I haven't pushed it out far enough. If you push further, it will come out slightly more. There we go. And then once you get your finger out, you can pull the tray open. Now you see the tray is already aligned so that you can pop the micro SD card in. In this case, it will be upside down, but you can just clip it in there so that it fits in and you have a flush tray. So the tray that we've just ejected from the tablet is flush and we can pop that back into the tablet. So I'm going to lift the tablet up and the key thing here is to align the side of the tray which has the hole with the hole on the tablet. So in this case, it goes in like this, or it should do. Nope, my wrong, my bad. It's the other way around. So it should go in like this. Now make sure to try and keep the, ta the memory card in until you've pushed it far enough that it won't wobble out and then push the tray in and that's that done. So once you've done that and the, the tray is flush with the device, you can switch your tablet on. In this case, I'm going to use my fingerprint scanner to unlock. There we go. So once that's done, I've got the tablet here and you'll see there's a notification saying unsupported storage. That's because we haven't set that up yet. So tap on settings and then you'll be presented with a screen saying, how will you use this SD card? So you can do that, use this um, to store your storage of the device. And once that's done, you won't be able to use the micro SD on any other device. Or you can use as portable storage, which means you'll still be able to store media on the, the memory card, but you'll be able to take the memory card out and use it elsewhere. So I'm going to use this card as portable storage. And then you get prompted to format the storage device and that you will lose any content that's on it. And I'm fine with that because it's a brand new card. But if you're using an existing card you already have, you'll lose any data you have on the card. So that's it done. The red SD card is ready to use. 
Now, the thing I usually recommend you go and check is you have settings and then you'll have a storage section. You'll see that obviously this is a 64 gigabyte storage tablet. It has internal storage, 6.38 gigabytes used of 55.6, but then you've also got your external storage. And you'll see that the settings are for downloading films and TV programs to your SD card, downloading music, photos, personal videos on your SD card, audiobooks, really handy for Audible if you're going, say, on holiday and you're taking a lot of audiobooks with you. And you can click on that to on the link at the bottom to find uh, more details there. So very handy if you're going, for example, on a boat trip or a train trip or a plane trip where you will have no internet. I advise you use this uh, storage to store the content that you'll be taking on the trip with you uh, so that you've got more storage for more content and you can stay entertained as you travel. So that's pretty much it. It's as simple as that. Obviously, this is focused on Amazon tablets. If, for example, you're going to be using the Netflix app, you will need to ensure that you have the settings on in the app to store the content on there. Likewise with Disney Plus and any other app that does support it. Anyway, enough of me waffling on about that. Uh, you've seen how to expand the storage of your Amazon Fire Max 11 tablet in this video. We hope you found this video useful. I'll link in the description to where you can purchase micro SD cards to store your, your content on, where you can purchase the tablet itself, and to other videos on the Tech Travel Geeks YouTube channel where we've reviewed other tablets. We haven't quite finished our long-term review of the Amazon Fire Max 11, but no spoilers here, it is a great tablet. So make sure you're subscribed and you have that notification bell turned on. Uh, we don't just cover Amazon Fire tablets and produce how-to videos about them. We cover consumer electronics, gadgets, accessories, and anything else we think makes the travel experience better. But for now, if you made it this far into this video, thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you soon.